Hi, Hiram here. I got a request from Butch Crawford to uh, try Sterno in the Kelly Kettle. Use this in the burn chamber instead of like I just did with the Mini Trangia and some other things. That's a, this is a pretty cool idea. There's a lot of people that like using Sterno on their camping trips for emergencies and stuff like that. This can, the large can, it's the 7 ounce, is said to last two and a quarter hours. So that's, you know, a pretty handy little amount of heating to be done. Uh, so what I'm going to try here is I'll try this in the kettle kettle and see what happens. So let me go get my water prepped and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I have two cups of water here. Uh, right now it's setting at 58 degrees. It's a little bit harder for me to get this stuff to the 60 degrees. So just going to have to go through it. Let me light that. Okay, now one of the nice things about Sterno is, I mean amongst things that are good about Sterno, is that this doesn't seem to suffer so much from thermal feedback. You know, that's where as things that it's heating up get hot, they reflect heat down into the Sterno. If it was alcohol or something, that reflected heat would make more alcohol vaporize, which would then make it hotter, which would make the pot hotter, which would reflect it down, and it just keeps going like that, and that's where you get runaways with the alcohol and stuff. It just gets bigger and bigger flames that you don't really need. Sterno doesn't seem to suffer from that so much. Okay, the flames are lit, or the sterno's lit, rather. Now, I have this on the bottom of the burn chamber. I don't have it elevated or anything. So, let me put this on. Two cups setting at 58 degrees. One other thing with this, thinking about this. Uh, the sterno has a small opening. So, that might just be sending heat straight up. You know, see it? It's a bit warm up here already. Something like this damper or the draft restrictor might work on this to hold the heat into the Kelly kettle a little bit more rather than just letting it all shoot out the top. But this time I'm just doing a straight test with the a new can of Sterno. So, okay. darn it. Okay, let's start it at 73 degrees. Too much talking here. Okay, so... I screwed that up a little bit. Starting at 73 degrees, let's see how long it takes to come to boil. There we have 211. There we have 211. There we have 212 in 22 minutes, 29 seconds. Wow. This was like watching paint dry. That's one of the bad things about Sterno. It's not a really hot flame. It's always kind of hard to get water to boil on Sterno. No matter what they say, the uh, calories just aren't there, it seems. The other thing, again, too, like I said... The heat is going straight up through. I mean, there's a lot of heat coming out of this. So I wonder if, you know, putting something like this on the top would slow down the heat coming out of the top. The thing we'd have to watch, though, is that it's still getting enough air so that the it's still uh, burning. It kind of sounds like it. See, not quite as much. I mean, there's still heat coming out of there, but it's restricting it so it doesn't just fly out. So let's see what happens here. Now what I'll do with this is, when this cools off, I'll take a weight on the canister, the sternal canister, and see just how much was used with that. So that was two cups of water. I screwed up in the beginning. Uh, I forgot to turn on the timer because I was gabbing. So that was like from 73 degrees. It took 22 minutes and 29 seconds to get it to come to a boil. Not the fastest, but there are a lot of people that like to carry Sterno with them. Okay, so uh, I hope that helps Butch Crawford, who asked for this. 
I always like getting input like that, suggestions, questions of what to do. But I thank you all for watching. I thank Butch Crawford for his question. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.